Hey, John Brown here from Mobilize.net. Let's do a quick demo of the Visual Basic Upgrade Companion, shall we? I'm just going to get it fired up here. This is version 7.2, which is the current version as of this recording, which is October 2017. So we're going to create a new solution, and I'm just going to point to the path where that solution exists. So here's my VB6 source project right here. I want to just point to that folder and say OK. By default, it will create a new output directory for the .NET version. So the first thing is we're going to look at all our references. And right now I see that I'm missing my uh, common controls OCX. So I have to go add it as an external reference. So what I'm going to do is come down here and say click bi add binary folder. Uh, and I'm going to go find the, uh, the control. So this can be a little bit of a problem if you're running this uh, tool on Windows 10 or a newer machine instead of your uh, VB6 development machine. In this particular case, I've copied that OCX file to uh, Windows System 32. I put it in here as a binary folder, and now I'm going to rescan the references and make sure that it works. Okay, so I've added my directory here, but you notice that I still have an X over here which says that the BBUC can't find this binary. So what I'm going to do is right click on it and say set the reference manually. And basically I'm going to go in and point to Windows System 32. So here it is. And now if we look at it, um, there's our OCX and now it has a green check mark so it's found it. I just had to manually add that reference, that's all. Okay, once you've got all the references with green check marks, you're ready to run the tool. Um, if you don't have all your components, uh, you will need to resolve that. Uh, if you've got a question about that, give us a call. Uh, we can maybe help you find the ones that you're missing. I'm going to click on Upgrade Options here, and we get a lot of choices. Um, I'm going to select the Web Map operate, uh, option here so that I can actually use this as the first step in eventually turning this VB app into a modern web application, which is a different demo, but it's pretty cool. Um, we're also going to uh, go down here and look at all of these choices for how we're going to handle these dependencies. And if I have any questions about any of them, I can click on View over here, and it'll show me what actually is going to happen with these different options and most of them. In this particular case, it'll show me what the original VB code for FlexGrid was and what we're going to get both with VB.net and also with C Sharp, which is what I intend to migrate this application to because I'm not a VB.net kind of guy. So when we like everything, we go back to Feature Summary, we got to click on this button up here, Confirm Options, before we can take the next step, which is Upgrade. Uh, I'm going to use Visual Studio 2017 as my project solution configuration. I'm going to run uh, this thing against C Sharp, because that's what I want. But if you want to, you can select VB.net as your migration language. And then we're just going to say Upgrade the Projects. Um, and it's going to go ahead. So. First thing it'll do is run a preprocessor and then it'll start this upgrade. Okay, we're all done. So now what we can do is actually just basically click on this button up here and it'll bring up the file. Now you notice that we've got three new directories under this folder called vb6.net. Um, and the one you want is upgraded. Here's all of your Forms now have been converted to C Sharp files. Um, we've got some other stuff in here, but what we want to do is go down to the solution file. And this is the one we want, Upgrade Solution. That's what I named it. Uh, so I'm just going to open that up in Visual Studio, and we'll see what we've got. Okay, here we are in Visual Studio, and uh, you notice that we have designer files now for um, all of the what were VB form files. And they look pretty much like the VB files. That's the whole idea here is to preserve the user interface look and feel from VB to .NET so that your users or your customers don't have to start all over learning how to use the application. We've also converted all the VB files into C Sharp. 
And if you look at the code, it should look pretty familiar. We've preserved all of the names of all the objects and the controls. Um, we've converted the code to C Sharp, obviously, and so in some cases, based on the options. In this case, I took an on error go to, and I just let the system automatically convert it into try catch patterns. Um, and what you'll notice is that we've got some code in here in the way of comments that are uh, telling you these are some things you ought to take a look at because these are differences between uh, VB6 and C Sharp and .NET. Um, so these are some things to take a look at. You can actually just click on these links like this one right here and it will take you to the documentation on it on our website. close that and you'll see that um, there's some information here including some sample code snippets that will tell you a little bit more about that issue so let's go back to it and just build this application and, and run it So here's our application. Um, it's going to run uh, just like the VB one did with the uh, grid controls and the tab order and all those things We're working just fine. The data access is fine and so on. Um, it looks just like the VB application did. Uh, so that's the VBUC. I want to give you a heads up that um, this one built and ran uh, without me changing anything. This is our demo app. Uh, your app you're going to need to do some stuff, but you're not going to need to do nearly as much stuff as if you started from scratch or if you tried to, um, you know, just write this thing from a beginning set of requirements. So this will get you 85 to 95 or, you know, in the case of this one, 100 percent. I mean, this is a real app. It's it's a sample app, but it's a, it's a rich app. It's got a lot of different forms and it's got a access database behind it and it just works. So uh, if you don't do anything exotic, uh, you may get 100 percent code. I don't want to set your expectations there, but yeah, it could happen. All right. Uh, if you've got any questions, give us a call. I always love hearing from customers. Take care.